Now, look, the man who successfully lobbied the cheesemakers to dump the name Coon now has his eyes set on milk. Indigenous rights activist Dr Stephen Hagen successfully got the name scrapped because of its racial connotations, something he believes that Paul's branded milk, Smarter White, also shares. He says that Aboriginal people are saying that there's an inference that it's for smart white people, not for smart black people. Robbo, what do you think? Ah, uh, look, again, I'm not in, I'm not part of this minority community, so we'll say that right now, as we always do. We're just, you know, thinking about our own beliefs and opinions and, and also, you know, being educated. Uh, with that said, uh, I think there are far more important, um, uh, you know, important battles that need to be fought when it comes to Indigenous rights in this country. Uh, look, coon cheese, I can understand, OK? Yeah, look, I, I, I said last time that I didn't think it should be changed, but, you know, look, it, it, if it doesn't affect the, the majority, the cheese will still taste the same, then, you know, if for those people it, it is offensive to, then that's fine. Change the name. It doesn't really matter. As long as the cheese keeps up the quality and the taste and what people like, tickety-boo. Um, however, milk is white uh and that is the very basis of it i think that this muddies the waters we've got a commercial when it was first launched in 2002 uh let's have a look at that now a bottle of milk thanks low fat no fat full cream high calcium high protein soy light skim omega-3 high calcium with vitamin d and folate or extra dollop uh, uh i just want milk that tastes like real milk this tastes like full cream milk and only 2% fat. Paul Smarter White Milk. Smart choice. I really don't think that there is any kind of inference that it's only for smart white people. It literally is a gimmick. Of course there's not. What? It, this is uh, just the yes. biggest load of crock. I'm going <laughs> to yes. get into the fetal position in a moment. Yes, yes. This, but, but yes, but sorry. You just, know what? It's, it's, What's also racist? Oh. White goods. They're completely racist. We can't use that term anymore. Come on, people. Yeah, I, I think that this, even uh, the um, Indigenous um, LNP member in the Northern Territory said that this was ridiculous, um, that, you know, there are, like I mentioned before, which I agree with her, that there are bigger uh, bigger fights to be had. Uh, this, Rob, you've made this point before on the show, actually, is it is where you've got to handle these things sensitively. Now, is that the right or wrong way? Probably the wrong way, right? But that's just the way the world is. Um, when you put off the majority, and this is such a contentious issue in this country and has been since white people got here, um, you need to pick the battles, I think, which is really awful for me to say. Now, for, for example, I don't like the word poof. I hate it. But I'm not about to go into, you know, Harvey Norman's and furniture shops and demand that they, the, you know, the foot poof or whatever it is be changed the name. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't put like don't, putting your legs up on a poof. No, come Let's have the jokes in a minute. This is important. <laughs> Sorry. But that's, I find that offensive. Head. I hate oh. that word. But However, I understand that that's the name of something. Even more so, milk is white. It's a, it's a PR thing. I, I, I'm all for Indigenous rights. I really, really am. The coon cheese, again, I'll repeat myself. I get it. Change it. But milk is white. They're not saying that people are, who are white are smarter than black people. It's just a gimmick. I'll finish. Yeah. Sorry. Do you know what I like, Ben, about the um, Black Lives Matter protests that are happening and uh, in, in this country? It's especially the Sydney ones. They're actually run by smart, intelligent people who understand the issues and aren't getting yeah. sidetracked with this crap. And you know, when um, that gentleman—I'm sorry, I can't remember his name—goes on television, he actually makes you think and question, uh, you know, whether the protest should go ahead. You know, he's obviously for them. And he makes a lot of sense about what he's doing. But this kind of crap gets mainstream Australia <laughs> offside and stops people from getting on board. Nobody cares if it's called Smart White. You know, as you said, Robert, are we going to change white milk? Are we going to stop using white goods? You know, like, I feel like this is kryptonite to Superman with me at the moment. I'm losing my will to live because if this is what we're coming down to, let's deal, protest the fact that Kids are being, Aboriginal kids and Indigenous kids are being locked up in jail at 10 years old. We've done a huge feature story. Go and have a look at that interview. These are the issues Correct. we need to worry about. I could Correct. not give a shit if 
white smart milk is called white smart milk. The, I tell you something, then I shouldn't be drinking it because I'm not a smart man. So I'll avoid Paul's white smart because maybe they're only tailoring. Let's go, but that doesn't mean let, let them introduce black, black smart milk. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Who wants but it, it does, I don't know. It's just, it does nothing to the cause. I really, it just, I agree with you. It does nothing for the greater cause. And in Australia, pick the battles. It does, this does nothing. I, it just doesn't. Well, I guess the people do have to sort of work out, you know, logically whether or not something makes sense. And I mean, this doesn't make any sense. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, Ben, Rob and Rob, Ben.